I've just noticed this. What a joy to be in the company of one's partner when they share one's delight in a pregnancy and upcoming birth. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of Sims in Bloom. And we are getting ever so closer to our little Rose Jen, well, forget me not Jen, baby being born. So Primrose is in her second trimester now, her third in 22 hours. We have still got people to tell about the pregnancy. She needs to tell her sister. She stinks. She needs to shout. Hour. But we also need to tell Emily's mum and her stepdad. So we will be doing that today. Emily does have work today. She's actually got work in a couple of hours. Primrose doesn't have work for a couple of days. So I think today we will actively go ahead and tell our different family members. I don't know why she is slicing through the walls, but it's fine. Let's get Thorn in a bit of a better mood. Well, she's in a good mood to be fair, but let's get her needs fulfilled before we head out into the world. Ready to tell everybody the big news. In the last episode, we did tell Indy and Tara. So they were the first to know other than Thorn and Emily. And next is her sister. And we actually have not checked in with Primrose for a while. So I actually had a look at her off video, off camera. So I'm excited to show you my discoveries with her. We are getting messages from fans. Is this really Thorn? You're like so hot. I know, babes. You're never gonna get it. So goodbye. She's feeling very flirty, getting a random text, letting you know how hot you are is ill but thorn can't help but feel flirty knowing that she's desired <laughs> okay babes okay it is also love day so she's got fans sending her love messages and obviously she is in her second trimester her belly is looking big i'm a little bit nervous but her belly is looking big and i think having people tell her how hot she is especially while being pregnant you know putting on that extra baby weight and whatnot it's nice to feel desired it's nice that people are complimenting her um and i think that she's loving that too so let's Let's go ahead and send Emily off to work and then see our big sister. Well, our twin sister. It's not big. <laughs> Can't remember who came out first, Thorn or Prim. There's always that debate with twins, I feel. Like, who's the older one? Maybe by a few minutes. Thorn still has this fear of fire. Oh, click on any fire and select extinguish. That's the only way that she can overcome this fear. I, Waffle wants a walk, so Waffle, you're going to come with me while we go and see Primrose. Now, Primrose lives in Strangeville and and if you have not already caught Primrose in her In the Military series, it is a whole separate side series on my YouTube channel. So definitely go and check that out. If you check the playlist, it is there. There's a fair few episodes now. So check that out. It is an alternate universe. So it's completely different. So whoever she is with now in this series is very different to that because it's like an alternate reality. So be sure to check that out. But let's go and check out who she is living with and all about her family in this this particular Sims in Bloom save and we are going to be bringing Waffle. Okay, this is where Primrose is living at the minute. This is a gorgeous little trailer home here in Strangeville. So let's knock on the door. Thorn is now in her summer outfit and let's find out a little bit about who these people are and Primrose's fans. <gasps> Okay, so here's Primrose. Let's go, let's bring her outside and let's tell her the news. But firstly, I actually want to check on the family tree. So this is Yuritsa. Yuritsa is still a, a child, a toddler, an infant, I think. Yuritsa has not been cared for by Indian Tara for quite some time. I think she tends to be left with the neighbors to be looked after. But Primrose, okay, so she's married to Kirk Crespo. He's her husband. And this is their daughter, Nia Crespo. I actually came in and added a bit of CC to them off of camera, off video. So this is what her husband Kirk looks like. And this is their daughter, Nia. She actually got Primrose's purple eyes. But let's um let's say hi to Prim and tell her the news that we are pregnant. We've not seen her for a long, long time. Her trailer home is gorgeous. They've really made well use of the space, haven't they? That is so cool. This TV is very close to our eyes. We're going to get square eyes. But what we actually came here to tell you is our big news baby waffle why are you playing in this this is obviously like a mess that nia has made and waffle is gonna get dirty now after she plays in the trash i'm sure that primrose is able to tell that we're pregnant but we will tell her just to um yeah share the big news and you know share in the excitement with her oh my god we are not in in the military at the moment but if you want to see more chaos like this check out my in the military series because this woman is infected. Be sure to check out Primrose's side series for that. But here we go. She's going to tell her twin sister, we're pregnant. 
Prim. I think she's excited for her. Okay, yeah. Primrose is excited for her having a baby. She has had a child. So let's go and meet Primrose's child. This is our niece, Nia Crespo. Oh my God, she's got the like the most like high pitched voice ever. And I love her. Come on then. Let's go say hello to our niece and also to our brother-in-law, Kirk Crespo. I think but since Thorn like moved over to Strangerville to pursue the military career and everything, she's been very out of it. Like, you know, she kind of hasn't... Well, she's stayed in touch with Thorn on the phone, but they actually haven't seen each other since Primrose moved to Strangerville because she hasn't been coming home for like Christmas, for family holidays, things like that. Um, she, you know, been in the military is difficult and it's quite hard to get holiday leave. Her main focus has been on that. So it's nice that with the exciting and big news for Thorn, she can now come and not only be and spend time with Primrose, but also meet her relatives. So yeah, this is Nia. This is her niece. Immediately upon meeting Thorn, Nia has a distinct feeling that they're good tempered and fun to be around. So Nia already loves her aunt. And then we have got Kirk, who unfortunately has bad compatibility with Thorn, but it's okay. <laughs> They're not in a relationship anyway. They don't have to get on in terms of that. But as long as they like each other a little bit and can be good siblings, in-laws, um, then you love to see it. But um, let's catch up Primrose with everything that's been going on recently. It's really nice actually to be here. We'll ask her, you know, is she thinking about having any more kiddos? She obviously has Nia. Nia's now a child now and will be going to school. So what, what are her plans? No plans. I don't think she has any plans for any more kids she's not in a position where she feels comfortable doing that which is fair enough she um wanted one and that was it i guess it's good that the girlies can finally catch up about what they've missed over the last few years of you know being away from each other her little trailer home is gorgeous i love how it fits them perfectly beautiful beautiful and waffle got out of the house as well here i think now that we've caught up with the wonderful primrose let's take thorn home because we actually you know she's gonna pop very 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 soon and we've got a lot to do for her job you lot we need to get her 100,000 followers so I know that she's gonna be well she's in her final trimester nearly and it's gonna be tough a lot of baby prep but I need to try and increase these followers as quickly as we can because once we have a baby, especially once we have an infant, it's going to be even harder to find time to create content. So let's get her home and let's get her actively streaming, recording videos and doing whatever we can. And let's get her out of Strangerville because this is um, wild. <laughs> Strangerville is a very scary town to be in. Um, but if you do want to know more about Strangerville and Primrose living in Strangerville and working for the military and finding out different mysteries check out in the military because it is um it's been good fun <laughs> we have very much enjoyed exploring primrose a little bit more i think it is tough when you're doing legacy challenges like this one where we had primrose and thorn they are twins and throughout their childhood we were trying to work out which one would best suit rose gen so i think it's difficult when you then lose one of them so we're just th focusing on thorn now here but it's been so nice to have primrose's side series because then she doesn't kind of forget forgotten and we can focus on her as well. So I've really enjoyed it and be sure to check it out if you've not already. But what we're going to do for now is we are going to go ahead and begin a stream. And while it's going to be complete streamception here because we're going to be streaming from the, what do you call it? The drone while also doing a live stream on the computer. So it's going to stream us streaming, if that makes sense. <laughs> so let's get crack a lack in with that Thorn. Let's start getting as many followers as we can a lot of you were suggesting to do this as well if you've got any more suggestions to build followers as quickly as we can please do pop them in the comment section below because eventually i think we need to have like millions of followers and right now we've only got 14k so let's see how we get on doing double streams i suppose here with our drone and our pc we are streaming on twitch and tiktok all at the same time the followers are going up like decent amount but i don't i really don't know how how long it's gonna take for us to get 100k because i feel like that is gonna take forever you know i'm still trying to get 100k here on youtube and my followers aren't going up as quickly as thorn <laughs> so maybe it will take her less time we only need about 24k here on youtube only so if you're not subscribed if you 
are watching this and you have not clicked that subscribe button, this is your alert to hit that subscribe button and let's get us to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. Tell your friends, tell your mum, tell your grandma, tell your shop assistant to subscribe to Tazkabaz on YouTube so we can get to 100,000 subscribers. Moving on, back to Thorn. She needs to get 100K as well. Emily's law firm has an unreasonably high billable hour requirement. She must choose between spending every waking hour in the office to hit the requirements or fall short but have a life outside of work unless there's a way to have both. Should Emily keep her hours accurate but fall short or should she fake some numbers? <gasps> Let's inflate the numbers. Emily's boss is astonished that she's able to reach these requirements while still leaving the office at a reasonable hour. The only explanation is she must be putting in extra time each night at home. Her outstanding work ethic is well rewarded. Well done, Emily. I mean, to be fair, she is doing sly things by taking money and getting loans off of people. So it is quite likely that she would do something like that at work. She is feeling tense though. Being a lawyer is a tough job. She also needs to offer legal representation to somebody and has not started that yet. So it's unlikely to get a promotion just yet but maybe we can offer legal promote legal representation to her mum when we go visit her tonight and tell her the news about the baby oh the drone is low on battery okay she really needs a wee now so let's go take a very quick eye break and a pee break and then get back to your stream oh you also need food thorn get a little snack what would I go get? I'd go get crisps, probably, on my break. Do we have crisps? Chips, sorry, my bad. Go get some chips. You can have a shower later, I reckon. But then I think now you should maybe go and get back to your stream once you get your chips. You can even bring your crisps upstairs while you're streaming, right? Do you know what? Her hygiene's got a little bit better, but people behind the camera, oh, like watching her stream, aren't gonna know that she's stink. Like, you could be watching my video right now and I might not have showered for two whole weeks and you'll never know because you can't smell me. So how is anybody gonna know that Thorn hasn't showered? Nobody's gonna know. So let's get going with her. Well, let's continue streaming after her little break. It is now watching her. <laughs> the stream is watching her on her break eating crisps. So she's gonna pop that down and get back to streaming some sims this is charged for a little bit while we were on break it makes me laugh how its eyes are like constantly watching thorn is becoming a geek for technology these days whether it's computer or video games related she enjoys it i'm gonna say no to becoming a geek because honestly when you get new traits it kind of messes up Cass. i find it very hard to like go into Cass now because it glitches out if they've got more than three traits which is really annoying oh my god adolf is messaging us <laughs> people are texting thorn all the time we are here at Emily's house. This is Emily's stepdad, Kevin. I always forget how amazing Emily's house is. And then I come back and I'm like, wow. So Thorn and Emily are telling Lola about their new baby and that she's going to be a grandmother. She definitely doesn't look like a grandmother, but we're having a baby. And I think Lola is going to feel the bump. You can feel her grandchild in there, which is really sweet. But she now knows that we are pregnant she has a baby of herself i think she was like a young mum emily's not felt la babalaroo yet either so she's gonna feel her baby in there too look i love how so that is lola's daughter and emily and thorn are literally gonna have a kid the same age as Emily's mum. Emily's mum was a young mum, but still. <laughs> anyway, so we've told her mum about the pregnancy. We've told Indy and Tara. So now all of our family members know. Primrose knows as well. So let's go back home and let's get prepped for baby. We also, like I say, I want to keep getting Thorn doing her content creation before we have this baby, before we pop. We need to utilise the like silence and freedom of no kids as much as we can. So let's keep streaming in let's keep going until the baby comes <laughs> subathon with thorn where she streams for like non-stop oh emily's got a unique appearance sims with unique appearance never blend in with the crowd no matter how average they look i didn't know she had that hey emily it's me indy do you want to go out on a date do you reckon indy wants to talk to emily before like before kids are introduced into the family does he mean it like that maybe wanting to tell her what it's like having kids obviously he's a dad he's thorn's dad does he want to or give us some tips about having a child indy babes do you need any legal 
legal representation. Thorn babes, you need to get up and stream. You have got to be streaming. Get up. Go ahead and continue streaming. I'm sure your viewers want to see you playing even more My Sims Go. Emily, on the other hand, you are going to go and chit chat with Indy. Indy, no, get off the game. You're not Meadow, babes. Oh, Emily learned that Indy likes fitness and violin. And Emily has acquired Indy as a client. More clients mean more responsibility, but that also means more earnings. Okay, so she offered some legal representation. So if Indy ever needs anything, like ever needs a lawyer to help with any small cases or whatever, Emily will be there. With another client to represent, she's becoming a more prominent and sought after lawyer. Okay, cool. Oh, next door having an argument again. I don't know whether to go knock. What are we gonna do when we have kids? This is gonna be so difficult. Having like a baby here and next door being as loud as they are is gonna be tough. Cause what if the baby just gets to sleep and then they kick up a fuss? It's going to be tough. And um, we can't even go to sleep until until they shush. Okay, we've knocked politely. Okay, nobody heard me. So let's pound on the door and tell them, shush your mush. I've got my pregnant wife next door and you two shouting and screaming isn't helping. Angie face. Oh my God. And Waffle just wants to play with ball. I mean, they seem to have stopped now. Maybe the knocking, like we don't need to have confrontation, but I think the knocking helped. Let's get going up to bed. She looks very... Very sad. She's eating steak. I think given she is now in her third and final try, well, nearly, we are going to take tomorrow as a paid time off day and spend it streaming. I mean, essentially we are creating content. She's a content creator. She's social media is her job. So we are doing things related to work, but I think we'll take the day to just have her create the content that she needs to do. Really grind it out before baby's here. Oh, Thorn can now take family leave. Take family leave. Okay. Okay, Emily doesn't really need to. She can kind of keep going, but we will make sure Thorne's doing that. Sometimes Thorne is overwhelmed with delight at the feeling of her baby growing within. She can't wait for it to be born. Oh, this is exciting. She's so excited for her new baby to come into their family. I think that the little baby will complete their, their little family. Thorne's now on family leave for one day. Waffle has been the baby for so long, so it's going to be weird having a new baby around. Waffle's right running away? No! Waffle, we need you here. You're gonna be a big sister soon with the baby. Oh no! Waffle's running away. Maybe she got jealous because the baby and the bump is getting too much attention now and she's not just not getting enough tension anymore. Thorn and Emily don't have so much time for her. Obviously Thorn is very heavily pregnant now so it's quite hard but let's go ahead and put out a flyer. Post alert about my missing pet. I think Thorn should also add to her Instagram story and update her social media status to keep people on the high alert. If you see a golden retriever anywhere, she answers to Waffle. Please do let me know. That is my doggo. I am in my third and final trimester of my pregnancy now and I can't actively go running around looking for her. So please let me know if you see a golden retriever. I think let's also make sure that she's posting online posting to her followers maybe on the stream she can talk about waffle and hopefully people will be on the lookout and she'll come back there's loads more that we can do now i don't really know what all of this is so let's do some of it so she's posting a meme at the minute she's going to broadcast a status which i really don't know what that is record a rant that's going to be different she could get a bit of backlash for that but let's do what we can do i hope she doesn't lose any followers from this trolled she got trolled online and she can also advertise but i'm not going to advertise i'm just going to do some of these things before we start today's stream oh look at all these memes <laughs> that's so fun dawn reached comedy level four but she gained no followers from posting about the memes at least she didn't lose followers dad's calling for a quick chit chat which is cute meme fail lol what can't even seriously thorn's meme was derivative and pedantic oh my god after sending the information out to the furthest reaches of the world thorn gained 10,000 followers from broadcasting her status wait that's so good yes well done thorn the meme didn't go so well but the status broadcast went really well love that for you oh <gasps> she lost 550 followers rants tend to make people uncomfortable with you oh babes you need to start streaming now put out the fire let's start 
streaming and make people like you again. Okay, begin the stream and let's begin playing some Sims. We can't have people being controversial. You can't be controversial and we can't have people canceling you. So let's get back on track to 100k followers. She is gaining followers from both forms of live streaming here, the drone and the computer. So I feel like we're doing what we can here to increase as much as possible. She's done a lot of status updates and different posts online today through her phone and through the PC. So let's check. We're just doing what we can. And the drones run out. Oh, Dawn is now a two-star celeb. Wait a hot second. She's earned two more fame points that she can use to purchase perks. She can now sign her autograph or choose to pose for pictures for other Sims. A great venue for such activities is the celebrity meet and greet, which she can now host by selecting plan a social event via her phone. With our fame points, let's choose noticeable. So there's something about Thorn that makes her stand out from the crowd and makes other Sims take notice. And I'm also gonna choose influencer. So she's gonna receive receive gifts in the mail. And that is our two fame points used and ready to go. Okay, she's gaining followers. What I actually want to do is pause the stream for a minute. Let's go downstairs and stream us like singing because I want to get her to reach level three in the singing skill. Maybe even before we have this baby. Oh, the drone's on low battery. Oh, dang it. I was going to say, could we not stream us singing? But if it's on low battery, maybe not. What are we at? Oh, singing is so close to level three. Literally at 87% complete. And the drone is about to die. Waffle has now returned. Where is she? Oh, she hasn't returned. She's over the other side. Waffle babes, come here. Emily can go and welcome Waffle back. Thorn reached singing level three. So now, oh my God. Okay, hold on. Go and welcome back Waffle. She now needs to donate to a protester, kiss someone at the romance festival and complete a mural at the art center. Oh, dang. Okay. So things are going to get quite controversial, but let's um, focus on what is here in front of us right now and welcome Waffle home and give Waffle a nice bath because baby does not look very well. There we go. Waffle is home and stinky. Thorn, do you mind just going and running a little bath for Waffle? Thorn is shattered though. So I think we'll give Waffle a bath and then actually take her to sleep. She's been streaming all day. So absolutely shattered and needs a bit of a rest. At least Emily's feeling playful. Waffle came home perfectly in time for the little baby. Baby's gonna be here so soon. I keep seeing them having like negative interactions in their sleep. It wouldn't surprise me if they're having like bad dreams about each other. <laughs> like maybe they're dreaming that the other is cheating on them. Look, see, Dawn just had a negative interaction. Dawn is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. She's just gone into labor. So it is time to have our fifth generation of Sims in Bloom. Let's Let's go ahead and have the baby at the hospital and let's bring Emily with us. We are having forget me not Jen. So we're gonna have to think of some forget me not baby names. <gasps> I'm so excited. We've got a ghost assistant, but let's go and check into the hospital. God, this hospital brings back memories. Does anyone remember Maeve ha having a teen pregnancy in here? Um, At the time we had the pregnancy mod. Oh my God, everybody's dead in this hospital. How can I trust dead doctors? Why is everybody dead? <laughs> the doctor, the nurse, assistant, it's all made up of ghosts. I don't understand. Dawn is here. She is in the hospital and she is about to have her baby, which is going to be Forget Me Not Jen. Join me in the next episode of Sims and Bloom, where we will be finding out what Dawn is having, what we are naming her baby. Let me know down below in the comment section if you're excited for our Forget Me Not generation of Sims and Bloom, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Tad's out.